Hey everybody, me and Buster want to say welcome to Little Cahaba Junkin, where we share a whole lot of junkin and even more Jesus. Enjoy our video. Say hey everybody. <laughs> hey everybody, it's me, Kayla Friday, and welcome back to our channel here at Little Cahaba Junkin. You'll hear Buster in the background. He has found a toy to chew on and he is living his best life. But um, today we have another really fun Etsy video for y'all. Um, the last two have done really well and people seem to like them. So we're gonna try to keep doing those as much as we can. And I know I have not done a thrifting video in a while, but I just really hadn't had time. And if I look tired, it's because I am. We've had a busy, busy work week at the hospital. Buster, did you find, did you dig a bottle out of the garbage? Did you? You did, didn't you? <coughs> it's never boring. It's never boring. Okay, so without further ado, we're gonna jump into the video. I've got my price sheet here and I'm gonna kinda show you guys these items and then I'm gonna take you around my house and show you how I've styled these items in a similar way, just so you'll have a better idea. But the first thing, you have seen this before. I actually bought this for myself, but I have a ton of these. So I have decided to part with this one. It is a really pretty vintage train case. And I absolutely love using these to style with, especially styling old books. But I'm just gonna show you guys a few ways that I have styled mine. So this is a blue vintage train case and it will be $25. And let's go take a look at some ways we can style it. Y'all have seen this area in my house time and time again. Buster. But I love using old suitcases and train cases and things of that nature, trunks to style in front of my um, faux mantle place. I think they look super cute stacked this way. They would also look really cute stacked to make even a little side table. And then of course I have this one in here as well. Um, this one actually does not have a top to it. It broke off after I bought it and I was super bummed, but I do love just having it kind of as a little basket, but they look so cute styled in so many ways and the possibilities are endless. I absolutely love all of mine. I have another brown one out in the garage, but I love them. I love, love, love using these. So the next item that we have is a pair of these beautiful brass swans. They open in the top, so they're really cute. They'd be adorable to, to um, just stick a little greenery in there. Um, you could put a candle. Um, it would be just really cute with something staged in it as part of a vignette. They're adorable and can be styled in so many ways. I absolutely love them and I love, love, love using brass. I think it just warms up a room and um, I just love these. So the pair of these will be $20. Up next, we have this beautiful English gravy boat. And here on the bottom, you can see that it says made in England. I love using these types of pieces in our hutch and all throughout our kitchen. But this is a really pretty piece and it actually, matches a piece that I already have. I did not realize that, but I love using these. I love to just kind of style some vintage silverware in there. Um, it'd be really cute to put for Christmas, a little bottle brush tree in there. You could do anything that you want to with these, but I love these in a hutch or in a kitchen tablescape. I think they're so cute. Um, and this piece, I don't see any obvious chips in here um, it's in really good shape and this piece will be nine dollars love it up next and this is not the piece i just had here this is the piece i have and it does not have the same marking on the bottom but it has the same shape but up next we have this beautiful little creamer here and it is got the same marking on the bottom as the gravy boat says made in England, but it's so pretty. I love the handle. It just looks so cute. This will be $7 
and it does have a tiny chip here on the bottom, as you can see. But otherwise, it is in great shape, perfect for your hutch, um, and you can also use these in any other room in your house. I love using these in my vignettes. I like to pop some greenery in there, or like I said, using my hutch and put some vintage silverware. You could use them in your tablescapes, whatever you'd like to do. And they're so cute and versatile. So $7 will be the price for this guy. Up next, we have this super cute depression glass cup. What does the marking say? I can't even tell what it says. Friends, something friends. <laughs> anyway, so we have this really cute depression glass cup. It does not go with our current decor here in our hutch, but it's so sweet. Perfect for spring and summer and also for Valentine's Day. And this little guy will be $6. Up next, we have this really cute flower frog. He's pretty big and heavy. Um, and he's clear, so perfect for any season. I love using flower frogs all throughout our house. This one is different. Um, it's a different shape, but I like to use it to hold our spoons over here by our coffee bar. But this one, even though the holes are a little bit different, you could use a smaller type of spoon, and I think it would be really cute to do a similar vignette in a coffee bar. So you could do something like that. You could obviously use it for its intended purpose down in a vase to use to hold your floral stems, or they make really good paperweights, or they're just cute staged in a vignette. I love mine. I have a huge collection. If you've been watching, you already know, but this little guy will be $9. Up next, we have these super cute vintage pair of duck planters. This one has a string around his neck I've got to cut off, but um, they are very vintage. You can tell they're super chippy, but they're in great shape. The actual um, ceramic is not broken. The paint has just worn off through the years, but I absolutely love these. I purchased these at Vintage Market Days of Birmingham for myself about a year ago, and I just never ended up using them, even though I love them. But to make a little bit of my money back, I figured I would share them with you guys. So the pair of these will be $19. They're so cute and I wish I would have used them and made them work, but I know somebody definitely will buy these guys because they're so cute. I love them, $19. And this little sweet pair can be yours. They're so cute. Up next, we have this really pretty milk glass chalice. It is heavy and it's in great shape. It's got a little bit of dust in there where it's been in storage. I'll clean it before I ship it out to you. But this is so pretty. Um, I have had several of these through the years and I've always enjoyed styling them in my hutch. But another great option, if you're a candle lover like me, these hold like the round three wick candles perfectly. So it makes a really cute candle sconce but you could use it for whatever you'd like. It'd be really cute to hold a plant or just anything. For Christmas, bottle brush tree. For fall, you could put some kind of pretty fall floral in there, whatever you want. But I love milk glass. I think it's so pretty mixed in with ironstone, um, but this will be $8. We also have this really cool piece of milk glass. I never, oh, ignore my fingernails. <laughs> I am gross, y'all. Just ignore me. I told y'all I've been busy and had a rough week. Um, but I love this piece. I love the way that the little scalloped edges or the little leaf indentions look. They almost remind me of like a pine cone or a pineapple. But I love this piece. It has a really cool mouth. It's like a Venus flytrap or something, I don't know, but it's a really cool piece. It would be so cute to hold a candle. It would be pretty um, with some florals in there or just mixed in your vignette. Um, it does have a little marking here on the bottom, so I'm not really sure um, 
who made this or anything, but I do think it is so, so cute. And this will be $7. Next, we have <coughs> an adorable puppy. <coughs> He's excited because we're going to his Aunt Penny's today to play. <coughs> but uh, shh. Up next, we have this super sweet puppy figurine. I just love him. I used him for spring, but I decided to pass him on to y'all. He has this little velvet on the bottom. He is so, so cute. He is just precious, and he would be so cute for fall, for summer, any season, but he's going to be adorable for fall with his brown ears and spots. So, he is going to be $10. Next, we have these really cool vintage milk jugs. So, the pair of these will be $12. This one has something actually written on it. It says, see your doctor once each year. See your dentist every six months. Valaton's Dairy, milk every day. So that is really cool. I don't know if you can actually see it because of the glare, but that one actually has a little logo written on there. And then this one is just a classic milk jug. It says since 1852. But I think they're so cute. They'd be adorable for little vases or just staged in your kitchen vignettes. I love them. They're so cute. Next, we have a set of six of these really cute little um, saucers. I love these. I think they'll be really pretty for spring, but I think they could also be really cute for fall as well, just because they have a darker color there around the edge. And they do have a mark here on the back. They're so cute. I love using, oh, let me refocus here. I love using little saucers like this all in our hutch, kind of as risers, and just to give a little pop of color. But they also look really cute in your vignettes. As you can see, I have a stack of them right here, and I had our little um, creamer sitting on top of there. But they're really cute, and you do get a set of six of these. And they are, $12 for the set of six. Super cute. And they also have a little gold detail there, but I love these. Perfect for right now and for spring. But like I said, I think these would also be really pretty for fall. Uh, next, we have this really pretty vintage floral tin. It has the florals on both sides. As you can tell, it is very rusty, but I love it. Um, it does not have a lid, so just be aware of that. But I think that it's so cute. I actually used it back in the spring, staged with some vintage kitchen utensils. I think it was so, so cute. Or you could even put your pothos plant or whatever house plant you want in there. And I think it would be adorable. And this little tin is going to be $8. So it's got a pretty wide mouth. I got my candles stored in it right now. But it's got a wide mouth here at the top, so perfect for a house plant, or like I said, so, so cute with your vintage kitchen utensils. Up next, we have these Homer Laughlin China plates. There are three of them, and they're all this plain white stoneware. I think they're so cute. I love using these all in my hutch. Like these are Homer Laughlin. Several of these are Homer. And I just like stacking them all in our hutch. I think they're really cute. Or you could even do like a little gallery walls type thing with several pieces of your stoneware. Um, but these are not a very, they're not very decorative with the scalloped edges or anything, but they're all in great shape. Like I said, you'll get three of these, but they would be really, really cute stacked in your hutch, just kind of as risers or just to add to your collection. So the set of three of these Homer ovals will be $14. And they're heavy, they're in great shape. You could even use them. They're in really good shape and perfect for everyday use, or like I said, for your decorative use. Coming over here where I can show y'all this. 
They are so cute. So I have two of these available. It's called Special Dishes for Special Days, a cookbook for children. And I think it is just one of the cutest things ever. So we've got really cute for Valentine's Day, Easter, Mother's Day. Actually, I take that back. There's only one of these available because I'm going to keep the other one because they are so cute. So definitely just going to be one available because I am keeping the other one for myself because I did not realize just how adorable <laughs> this thing is. Oh my gosh, look at the Halloween one with the witch's brew. That is so cute. Okay, yes, I'm definitely keeping one of them. I'm sorry. So there's only going to be one of these available. Look at the Christmas. Oh my gosh, that's what I get for not looking through these so good. I love this. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use this. I am definitely going to be using this for our... <laughs> for our next video. So, just kidding. Only one of these will be available. I love it. Um, so, and this will be $7, and I'm keeping the other one for myself. Up next, we have the super cute children's books. This one is the Bobsy Twins in the Country, and just look at this sweet cow and the kids playing in the hay. Perfect for my country primitive lovers. That is so cute. And then we have Fury and the Mystery of the Trapper's Hole. Love the horse. It is so cute. These are just the most adorable little kids readers. Perfect for staging in your vignettes. I love them. And the set of two of these will be $8. Next, we have this bunch of faux tulips. So I use these and I just kind of fell out of love with them. They're beautiful, people love them, but I've just really got to where I like to use house plants everywhere or live plants. But these are very realistic, they're pretty. This one has a mark, I will clean that off for sure before I send it to you. But these are super cute, realistic tulips. Um, and I think I have three bundles of these. So you get a six, or you get six tulips in the bundle and the bundles will be $8 a piece. And I'll tie them with some cute ribbon or something before I send them to you. But I think they're really cute. I just never really use them. And I've invested a lot of money in these. Um, they came from, I think, Decorator's Warehouse and they cost a pretty penny. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of our money back because I have bought several of them. So you're getting a really good deal because they are very realistic. Very realistic. So six in the bundle and they're $8 a piece. And Buster is processed. Only a couple of items left, one of which is this beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, it is um, a floral pattern. This is a little sticky. I'll get that off. That will not be on there. Um, I love it. I think it is so pretty. And it does have a hanger here on it. So if you want to hang it on your wall, it is set and ready to go. Or that can be easily removed. I had this at my spring show and it didn't sell, which was very surprising to me. But I love this. I just have several pieces that are very similar. Beautiful in your hutch or on your gallery wall. Like I said, if you wanted to hang it on a gallery wall, it's already got the hanger on it. And this piece is going to be $7. Love it. And it does have a couple little chips here and there, but you can see that it's just very chippy and aged to perfection. I love it. I love the pattern, and I think it is just an adorable piece. Also available, we have this huge platter. You can see how big it is. This would be absolutely gorgeous, styled in the back of your hutch, how I have them um, in the back kind of as a backdrop. It would also be gorgeous on a gallery wall or in a um, gallery wall of platters, 
Like it would be so cute, style somebody like that, or just on an easel in your kitchen. But it is so pretty and heavy, and I think it is just adorable. So heavy. It's really, really good condition. I don't see any cracks or any big chips. And this piece will be $10. I love it. Perfect styled in your hutch. Okay, friends. That is all for today. Come here, Buster. Come here. Come here and say bye to your friends. Come here. Come here. Say bye, everybody. Say thank you for shopping with us today. And I promise I have some cool videos coming up. I've been redoing some furniture. Um, and I also have a really cool lamp that I got thrifting um, a while back that I want to transform. So hopefully this weekend I'll get to doing a video on that. And we're going to restyle the corner over there in our living area with a new side table and that new lamp, both of which were secondhand finds and I'm gonna redo them both. So I'm gonna show you guys how we did that and help you and let you guys help me style it. Um, Buster is just a talking. And also the first weekend of August, Aunt Penny and I are going on an adventure. We will be going to the longest yard sale and we are so excited. We're gonna go for two days. We're gonna go up as far as we can in one day, stay the night and then come back down and around for the next day. So we will probably be gone like a Thursday and Friday or a Friday and Saturday, but we are definitely gonna film on that. So I know you guys will really enjoy that. Um, and we hopefully will get around to getting another home tour in. Um, I have another aunt, Aunt Kim, that you've met. I would love, love, love to film her house, but I've just got to talk her into letting me do it because she has absolutely gorgeous displays and she has a ton of real antique and vintage pieces and her collections are just to die for but thank you so much for subscribing to our channel we do have some fun videos coming up but like i said it's just um you know it's been a busy couple of weeks but um, I really enjoy doing these because I don't have to leave my house and I already have the items and they're easy to film. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy them and at least getting some ideas on how we style things. But me and Buster love y'all so much. Jesus loves you. He has a purpose for you in your life. Um, and God is so good. He's just blessed us immensely and he has just blessed this platform and we're able to share Junkin and Jesus with so many people. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget September 9th and 10th, we will be at Miss Susan Cornelius's show, Market Days on the Farm. I'll put the info below. Also, our Etsy shop will be linked below and everything that you've seen in the video will be on the Etsy shop. <laughs> If you don't see it, it's because it's already sold. So hurry over if you see something you like, and I will see you on the next one. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful weekend. Love y'all.